Welcome guys to another episode of The Derde Show, a place to sit back, relax and enjoy a good conversation. Today our guest Ahmed Bouraki. Welcome man. Hello, hey, hey, thank you. Slorks. Slorks, yes. Welcome to The Derde Show, a place to sit back, relax and enjoy a good conversation. Yeah, uh, you give me good luck. Ahmed Bouraki. Okay, I make tech videos, basically. Uh, I started with social media in the last year 2014 and I started video related to tech but then it evolved into making uh, other content that is related to other stuff that I kind of like and it turned out to be like the best decision I made in my entire life to just pursue the influencer life wow. which has many definitions <laughs> and many meanings and um, yeah. it's fun, I love it Nice, man. And when you say, I make tech videos and I do this for a living, what does that really mean? Can you just explain a little bit more? Well, uh, I, I don't blame you for asking that question because I, I think my dad doesn't even know what I do yet. <laughs> so <laughs> what it comes down to in the end, I uh, say we video art, which is creating, creating content mm -hmm. on different platforms. Mm -hmm. you know, on social media, we have plenty of platforms. And if, if there is one platform that um, I took very seriously, it's YouTube. When I started to make videos that is related to tech, telephones, computers, anything that basically plugs into a wall or has electronics or gadget or whatever. I started because the situation that was on the Arab level, especially when I saw videos that had to do with the technology, I was able to see something different. كنت mm -hmm. ابي اشوف يعني انا بغيت اصور فيديوهات اللي انا كنت ابي اشوفها mm -hmm. فما فكرت بالاودينس كثر ما فكرت اوف ماي بيرسونال بلجر انا okay. ابي اشوف فيديوهات انا اسويها mm -hmm. ف اذكر اليوم اللي قعدت عشان اسوي فيه فيديوهات اصلا ما كنت ادري اني راح اسوي فيه فيديو اي واز ان سكول كنت قاعد ادرس ماجستير الحمد لله خلصت وبالكلاس مال الماجستير كان عندي ايفون 6 ات ذات تايم و ا لوت اوف بيبل يوني قاعد يسالوني عن التليفون كان تو نازل وشيء جديد وكذي وين واز ذس ذس واز ليت 2014 اكتوبر 2014 okay. ولما um, رديت البيت استوعبت انا اقول ليش الكلام اللي توني قلته حق الجماعه اللي سالوني عن التليفون جست سويتش انا كاميرا خد خد كلم على الموضوع and that's what i did i i put down a um, a gopro and wow. uh, yeah a gopro i had a gopro hero 3 um camera thania which was a nokia phone nokia 808 pure view it had a great camera and i just clicked record and i started talking no editing nothing to kalamt for maybe 11 minutes wow i uploaded to youtube i go to sleep i wake up the next day i had 107 subscribers and over a thousand views no way yeah and i was like wow people like this stuff no way yeah so i was like let me go back and see what else i can talk about another phone which was a samsung galaxy alpha so i was like let me make a video about that people liked it you know two months later i had 10,000 subscribers wow and i was like okay fast. it was very fast it was very fast and um i was overwhelmed you know i i was um about to be a father and i was married obviously i was doing uh, an mba program that was hard and difficult i was working you know like maybe 40 hours a week growing a channel yeah and wow. i i just يعني, حزتها لا دواوين لا زوارات ولا شيء يعني I just wanted to focus on this on this thing and see if it grows see if it goes somewhere فلما وصلت 10000 سبسكرايبر حسيت اوكي في شيء هنا خلينا ندير بالنا عليه خلينا نحتوي خل let's nourish it let's see where it goes and um, I started creating more content and more content and more content and then I became addicted to creating content I started skipping out on on like family affairs and stuff like that because I wanted to create content وبعدين يالي ايميل one day and I thought it was a prank I got an email I was at my cubicle at uh, well, I used to work at Zane and I was at my cubicle minding my own business and I got an email that said you're invited to a Samsung Galaxy unpacked event in MWC Barcelona and I was like that, that can't be true so I ignored it and then a week later I got a gentle reminder and, no and, way and I ignored it I had the audacity to ignore it wow and then um, all of a sudden I got a phone call And there was uh, this, this lovely person on the phone. She was like, yeah, this is um, Flana. I, um, I handle the Samsung Golf account and you're invited to this event. Did you get the email? I was like, 
oh, so it's real. And she, she just cracked. She just, <laughs> she just like, yes, it's real. What are you talking about? We're running low on hotel rooms and accommodation. Are you coming? What are you doing? And I was wow. like, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course I want to come. So she sent me my itinerary and I didn't believe it up until, you know, Sultan Matar. I checked in my stuff and they gave me a boarding pass. And I was like, Barkab Tayar, عشان أسافر أغطي مؤتمر for a freaking phone. Wow, man, that was a breakthrough. And I was like, is this serious? حتى أذكر يعني أنا كنت قاعد أكلم زوجتي أقول لها إذا إذا صار ما صار أرد البيت لأن إذا وصلت هناك ما أعطوني boarding pass, you know, like إيش سوينا طلعت من البيت رحت المطار. It's not a big deal. Wow. But when I got the boarding pass, I was like, yeah, by the way, I got the boarding pass. I'm flying. I'm I'm going to an event. For and free. Yeah, they fly you out, of course. I'm not going to pay for anything. <laughs> they fly you out. But I mean, that was a crazy concept for you too. It me. was. And at that time, I remember I had about, I think I had 19,000 subscribers, closer to 20,000 subscribers. We went to Barcelona and um, I was trying to figure out stuff. Basically, it was my first time ever going to Barcelona. I've never been to Barcelona before. Gadam, she figuring out like, you know, where to pick up your MWC badge and all the stuff, trying to see if somebody was holding up a clipboard with my name on it, something. And um, as it turned out, like, you know, after I picked up my badge, I was, I took too long, so I missed my ride. So I had to figure out how to get to the hotel from the airport. And um, basically when I checked in into the hotel and, and I found a piece of paper that says, you know, welcome to Samsung Unpacked event and all this stuff, I was very overwhelmed. And um, as soon as, uh, you know, as soon as they called me up and they're like, yeah, we're meeting for dinner, like, I, I think it was like seven or eight. I was like, so which table is it? And then they were like, oh, it's just the table with a bunch of Arabs on it. You're, you'll find us. You'll know who, you know which table it is. If I go there, ooh, ooh, I see all those, all those other people that are content creators, that are YouTubers, that are from the Arab world, that I follow. No way. You know, and I know it's going to like Faisal is safe. You know, Salah, Salah Hamid, Android Basha, Mohammed Lipsami. All those people I followed for, for years, you know, and, mm. and I was like, I'm sitting on the same table with them. That's a this dream come true, I was, like, I was like, yeah, that can't be right, though. I pulled the Samsung person on the side. I'm like, so my name is Ahmed Barik. He's like, yeah, we know who you are. Hello. I was like, yeah, but what, what am I doing here? Are you sure I'm supposed to be here? And they're like, yeah, don't sell yourself short. Just do what you do and, and don't worry about anything else. So as soon as I saw the new phones, I felt like I was in the zone and I was passionate about this stuff. I was obsessed about phones for, the, for as long as I remember. Um, I need my gateway drug into technology, if I can, like, you know, lack of better words, were mobile phones. Well, the obsession started between 1998 and 1999 and uh, contained my telephone at Nokia, and I still do. Yeah. And um, that, Question, man. that was a full circle, by the way, with the whole Nokia thing. Um, yeah. Uh, just in December, just just right now, December two, 2018, December 5th, I was, uh, I was, man, it was like the proudest moment of my entire career, basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was um, an MC for the announcement of the new Nokia 8.1 that came out for the global launch. No way. Yeah, man. And it was, it was amazing. Wow. It was amazing. It was amazing. I got to work with Nokia very closely. I still work with Nokia very closely. I'm seeing is a different ball game, brother. It is. And uh, it was a privilege that I wasn't only the first Kuwaiti to do it. I wasn't only the first Arabi to do it. I was like first Muslim to do it too. And I was wow. like I was I was, you know, start it was just I couldn't explain the feeling. Like when I got on stage and I realized that I'm broadcasted to a million millions of, of like Nokia fans and stuff and the people are waiting for us to announce this new phone and I have to talk about my experience with the product. I was like, oh wow, that's amazing. My career just made a full circle. Like right now, if I don't do anything else, I've done everything I've ever wanted to do. I've accomplished everything I wanted to accomplish. Of course, man, yeah. of course. Yeah, I mean, so I wanted great. to ask you a question um, yeah. two, three minutes ago because when he told you to do your thing when you got there and you were like, yeah. my name is Ahmed, he told you I know you well, and then yeah. he told you own it. Yeah. When in your career did you start owning? Um, that's a very good question. You see, early in my career, when I hit about 36,000 subscribers or, or like a little bit less than 40,000 subscribers, وقعت uh, مع MCN, which is a multi-channel network. Um, multi-channel networks on YouTube are very popular. Those companies, what they do, they get a pool of channels in YouTube. What they do, they share the ad revenue that you get. It's already agreed upon ahead of time, which wow. is like, you know, 30, 70, 60, 40. 
some of them they can go as low as 90 10 mm -hmm. uh, share yeah don't 90 percent of the profits they keep 10 percent but in return what they do they own your channel because they have to get the ad revenue and ad sense through them and uh, they promote your your channel and your content more so they can generate more revenue in return for themselves Fa'ana, I tried it for like you know a three month trial period and I realized that it wasn't really changing anything for me really yeah I was like it's and I'd rather keep all the revenue for myself because w they weren't pushing as much as I expected that they would they promised me numbers and KPIs that they didn't deliver so they had this trial period which was like basically three months Jaratum for maybe two months but then Kalam get be I came and you can do that yeah that well Try. that's what they say you can do so I asked to basically be you know disconnected from the MCN and um, they ignored my email up until the three month period was done. And then it says basically in the contract that if the three month period is done, until you don't disconnect from the MCN, then you're forced into a whole year obligation. So I was like, yeah, no, screw that. Like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> and what the hell, yeah, yeah. Bud? And I made a whole video at that time talking about the specific MCN. And, and uh, subhanAllah, right now I don't even remember their names. I was so frustrated with them at that time. Well, at that time, the Muhammad Sawi had the Haraka, Wildi Wahab, Kantawa Mulud. I just became a father. Um, so I was like, Shasawi, what should I do? And I, I felt very lost. I asked everybody I know at that time what, should, what, what I should do. And everybody at that time told me to just, you know, suck it up. A year is nothing. And just keep your channel until God knows if you can get that number again or not. Except for one guy, he said, bro, delete the channel, start fresh. Nobody needs to own you. And then you own yourself and just start fresh. And then on a whim, I deleted my Google account oh, on a whim. Bro, lost. Got me, you just lost. Me goosebumps, man. Dude, That's... I lost almost 40,000 subscribers and over 1.7, 1.8 million views of that channel. That channel was uh, www.youtube.com backslash Slork says. That's, that's the one I was using at that time. I deleted it. I started a new one. And um, in less than a year, I had 100,000 subscribers. Boom! Yep. Yeah, baby. Yeah. That's Fair. why somebody's going to have to make those scary decisions. <laughs> <laughs> and it paid off. It paid off big time. And, and, and that's when I felt that I owned it, basically. When uh... I started fresh. And for me at that time, and uh, you start fresh, but fresh, technically people know who you are. Yeah, so, of course. So you're not starting fresh, fresh, but you are starting with zero subscribers. Oh. It's, it's about getting those subscribers back. And now I'm going to get to the subscriber count. I mean, before I was in a year, I was about 300,000. So I'm like, man, if I only had those 40,000 that I lost, I would have surpassed 300,000 by now. You know what I mean? Well, now I'm like, I was about 350,000. I'm like, man, if I had those 4,000. I don't 000, think so, though. Yeah, I keep thinking that way, right? I think your hunger changed as soon as you deleted that account. Yeah. You approached the market in a complete different way, man. Hey. A complete different strategy. You were experienced, you were hungry, you were angry. I was very angry. Yeah, man. I was very angry. And this is what made I switch up the way that I actually make my content. Anna, the first, this is your first question, you know, like, why do I do this video? Then I, I, it's for my own pleasure, right? I, hmm. I want to watch the videos that I create. Yeah. But at the same time, I feel at that time, there was nobody that was creating content the same way that I was creating. So I felt that there was a fajwa in the work that I'm doing with that type of technique. In English or in Arabic? In Arabic, not in English. In English, I was watching the English videos. And I was like, why don't we have something in Arabic? Why don't we have something in Arabic? Because all the videos are in Arabic that I saw at that time. It was a camera from the top. It was on the phone, on the table. And that's it. This telephone, the features of it, I don't know what it is. And I'm like, okay. And then... You know, I, as soon as he said that, like three people came yeah, to my <laughs> You know what I mean? And I'm like, okay, there's more to it. There's, yeah. there's a lot more to it. I want to see different videos. From the perspective of the content, I can always, I mean, I'm going to watch it from 2009. Because the content that he says, the words that he says, the the actual content itself is is, I mean, it throws you from the perspective of the information and the things that you can get. من ناحية التصوير يمكن مو بس الطريقة يعني ليه حين فيصل سيف يصور الطريقة تختلف عن تصويري تماما he owns it in his way I own it in my way but we at the end of the day we give information and and the way that I wanted to give information was not present at that time 
وبعدين اول ما قمت انا انزل فيديوهات بطريقه انا قمت انزلها اوبفيسلي اتس ايذر يو نو يو ستارت ا ترند اور ذا ترند واز ذير بس يو دينت سي ات بيكوز يو ورنت بارت اوف ات فا اي دونت لايك تو توت ماي اون هورن اند بي لايك يا ويل اي ستارت ذس اي لايك تو ثينك ذات ام بارت اوف ذا موفمنت اوف ذس بيكوز ات واز ات واز كومبليتلي ديد بيفور هاند يعني قبل تك واز واز سمثينج ذات بيبل wanted to basically see when they wanted to buy a product now a lot of people watch tech videos not necessarily to buy a tech product it's just entertaining for them uh, and the biggest tech youtuber in the world is unbox therapy mm-hmm. oh, he barely gives you tech information it's it's just basically like it's entertainment experience. and it's experience nice. and first hand experience like and that. a lot of people you know they they cling to that in a very weird way and then they relate to that and then you i get yani ana bil yom yawsani yumkin على الاقل خمسة ستة من المتابعين يدزوا لي مسجات يقولوا لي انا ببلش قناة يوتيوب شنو اسوي؟ انا ببلش قناة يوتيوب شنو اسوي؟ اند ذي جيت انسبايرد اند ذي سي يو ميك فيديوز اند ذي لايك يا اي ونت ميك فيديوز تو و يو لايك يا ذيس از ذيس از وات اتس اول اباوت فهني انا حسيت اني اوند ات اند اي ونت تو سويتش اب بيكوز اي جات بورد وذ ماي فيديوز كنت احس ان انا مليت من فيديوهاتي ابي اغير الطريقه اللي انا اصور فيها ابي اطرق ابي اغير الطريقه اللي اتكلم فيها ابي اغير ما ادري شنو فاي ونت تو تشالنج ماي سيلف اند جست ميك بيتر فيديوز اند ميك بيتر فيديوز اند ميك بيتر فيديوز و اخر مراجعه نزلتها واز يسترداي يسترداي نزلت مراجعه حق الايباد برو شنو يعني مراجعه؟ اتس بيسكلي uh, تتكلم عن تقييمك حق منتج معين انت تستعمله اوكي okay. وتقول رايك فيه بكل صراحه اوكي okay. فالحين فور اكزامبل بس انت سبوز تو دو ذات ان افري افري برودكت تقول رايك بكل صراحه؟ ويل يو دو تقول رايك بكل صراحه بس مو كل منتج انت راح تستعمله اندر ذا سن اوه صح لما تجي تستعمله وتعطي تقييمك حق المنتج لانك من باب الاستعمال غير عن لما تعطي تقييمك حق المنتج من باب والله ذيس از وات اي ثينك اباوت انبوكسنج او شيء ديفرنت يعني اوكي فهني انت تلاحظ في فرق من ناحيه الوزن مال المحتوى اللي انت ممكن تسويه واحنا بعالم العربي عندنا هذا الشيء خط وايد وايد نحيف بين تجربتك ورايك بالمنتج وعندنا شيء وايد كبير من المحتوى العربي اصلا حتى لان الناس لما يجون يطالعون الفيديوهات وكذي كل يحطون ببالهم انت ذمتك احد شاريها مم. يعني كم عطتك سامسونج عشان تقول تليفونهم زين ما ما يفكرون انه والله يمكن هو استعمل التليفون وعجبه واذا انت قلت انه والله ما عجبني او كم دفعت لك ابل عشان تقول انه ما عجبك you know? and do you mention these things in your videos like how well, yeah yeah these are these يعني انا شوف انا احس ان السبب اللي خلى الناس تتابعني انه انا وايد حاد برايي نايس nice. ما جامل نايس nice. يعني اذا شيء زين بقول زين اذا شيء مو زين بقول مو زين نايس nice. وفي شغلات وفي فيديوهات وايد كثيره سويتها شركات زعلت مني ما قامت تحاكيني امم mm. وخسرت شركات علشان المتابعين اي بت عرفت يعني و- و- طبعا يضايق الشيء لما تقرا احد المتابعين يكتب لك انه والله كم دافع لك ولا كم ما اعرف ايش ولا ليش تطبل هذه هذا المصطلح اللي ليش تطبل mm. وليش ترفع ولا ليش مره احد قاعد يكتب لي ليش تزمر ليش ما مصطلحات غريبة عجيبة عرفت؟ بس انه ليش هذا السيجمنت اوف جاست ذوز؟ اي لان ستريت كومنت لان لما تجي تفكر فيها اذا انت مستعد انك تخسر شركة عشان المتابعين والمتابعين ما يبين بعينهم تحس انه اوكي عايش وات ديد اي جين؟ وات ديد اي جين؟ اكزاكتلي اكزاكتلي بس هذا انا قاعد اقول لك اياها نسبة وايد بسيطة من متابعيني انا لما اطالع متابعيني احس انه انا وايد محظوظ ان متابعيني متابعيني اكزاكتلي لان لان بدون متابعيني ما عندي شيء صح؟ Yes. At the same time, uh, it's this crazy loop. Uh, b- b- Am I taking up your time, man? Do you have it? Like, I feel like I'm just going on and on. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> right? Like, am I taking up like the questions time or something? It's 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 a great conversation. But, it's um, your show, bro. Yeah. Go for it. Um, in the magister of the لما قدمت اول شيء لما دشيت الجامعه عشان اسوي ماجستير كان شهر ثلاثه سنه 2014 فات واز بيفور يوتيوب ات واز بيفور اول ذا ستف ودشيت الجامعه كنت علشان اي ونتد تو كلايم ذات كوربريت لادر اي واز ان زين فور اكس امونت اوف ييرز واي جاف فيت اب وذ ايفري ثينج فقلت اوكي خلينا نعدل من مستوانا المعيشي خلينا ندرس شهاده عليا خلينا نجيب شهاده خلينا نمشي حالنا بيسكلي فدشيت جامعه ماسترخت وقدمت يو نو فور فور ام بي اي بيسكلي Well, at that time, I would like to ask you to just basically have a uh, hypothetical uh, thesis or a dissertation that you have to write about basically because you have to talk about it so you have to take the test. So I had something related to like accounting basically. Then it's, it's, it was in my field. I was a senior accountant in Zain. By the time I started YouTube and when I started my research, the dean of the university was a follower of mine. 
فلما رحت علشان اقول له انه والله ذيس از ماي توبيك اتس لايك نو مان وات ار يو دوينغ؟ الحين دين جيمس الله يذكره بخير وات ار يو دوينغ؟ نو سو شيء لا علاقه باللي انت قاعد تسويه وات يو ار دوينغ از اميزنج اند ذير از نوت ا لوت اوف اكشوال ريتن دوكيومنتد ووردز ذات ديسكرايب وات يو دو ان ذا ارب وورلد اند اي ثينك ات ويل بي ان انترستنج فيلد اند اي واز لايك سو وات يو وونت مي تو دو؟ And I came up with this, eth- well, this thesis, basically. It's the changes of interplay and the untraditional methods of marketing in the tech industry. Wait, can I say that again? It's the, <laughs> interplay, it's the changes interplay of the untraditional methods of marketing, the non-traditional tech. methods of marketing in the tech industry. Wow. And I wrote about 130 pages about that stuff. And I developed my own model. And I defended it for three hours in front of a panel. Three I, hours? Yeah. And I passed, alhamdulillah. I passed. Yeah, I passed. But wow. The, the, the great thing was that I got so research to write about this stuff. I discovered a lot of information that helped me grow my channel, grow my brand. Find out that you're actually a brand. You know what I mean? I had questions that I needed answers to. If I got this telephone, how are you going to sell it? Do I get this telephone? Or do I have a lot of information about the internet? The telephone. All those questions were in my mind and I wanted the answers to them. And the only way I found those answers was through research and documenting this research and interviewing companies and PR agencies and product managers and other influencers from different parts of like, you know, the MENA region, Middle East, North African region. And research. Oh my God, a ton of research. research. Yeah. You said something I want to ask you about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We always see people clashing if you have an Android and somebody else has an iPhone, they yeah. just hate hate each other it's weird i mean like it's it's either this or that yeah. so let's talk more about like brand loyalty mm-hmm. and from your experience in the tech world um is it really any yani, two worlds and if i'm into one thing i can't be part of something or can you change my perspective and that loyalty from a video uh you can change the perspective and the loyalty then uh, you know at the end of the day you're spending money to get those those devices right because mm-hmm. fanboys are fanboys and fanboys are fanboys technology well uh, you know Arabic or Qatsiya or Barcelona or Real Madrid or Batman or Superman or well, uh, religions or well, everything you're right yeah so. DC and Marvel and all that stuff so mm-hmm. uh, there's always going to be fanboys but my Android or iOS and I proudly say that I'm one of the people that actually you know I actually you know I, I air the flames I, I enjoy the the butting heads that happen basically and I enjoy it and then it's it's healthy disagreement You know what I mean? Uh, pe- people are not the same. People shouldn't be the same. Mm-hmm. And the reasons why they choose something is going to be different from one another. Mm-hmm. So I like to explore that end of it. I stand as actor, and I explored both worlds, and I found comfort in one of those worlds. For when I talk about the other world, I can talk about it comfortably. Mm-hmm. And when you tell me I love the iPhone because of this and this and that, I can tell you, well, did you try this and this and that? And then you'll be like, either, huh? No, I didn't. Or you can be like. in my phone is shiny you know or like mm. i got the apple logo on my phone and and i'm great i'm an android guy at the end mm-hmm. of the day mm-hmm. but um i have a ton of respect for every single ios guy i know and i have a ton of respect for apple because i do use other apple products this is something that a lot of people hey, then a lot of people are like you know you don't like an iphone then you don't like anything which i don't get i love mcdonald's but i don't like the filet of fish <laughs> You know, like, uh, <laughs> it, it doesn't make sense to me. I love Chevrolet, but I hate the freaking Traverse. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's cool when they have, you know, yeah. options, right? And I, I, I do. I use, I'm, I'm invested in the Mac OS. I don't use Windows. I use iMacs. I use MacBooks. I use an iPad, but I don't use an iPhone. Mm. I, use, I use an Android phone. So I explore both worlds, and I can talk from perspective of both worlds. But see, yeah, brand loyalty, um, it's present, obviously, especially with Apple. Apple has perfected the affection part of, of having a customer, a consumer, right? What does that mean? That means, basically, Apple can put their logo on anything and they'll sell it for the highest price ever. Because their followers believe in the sense of belonging to the brand. So, I said this in one of my videos. I said, I dare any iPhone user in the tech world. In the, tech world. in the tech world, I dare any iPhone user to criticize the iPhone, to Ooh. say the iPhone fi mushkila chidi chidi chidi. I dare them. They don't. They don't. They're tech people. They know the iPhone flaws. They know iOS flaws. They know their limitations. Maybe you can reach a point with them. They'll be like, yeah, okay, I'm aware, but it's kefi. Mm. Ana chidi. 
انا احب كذي انا مش فاول ما انت كونفرسيشن تتجه حق هذا الطريق يو نوت ا تك بيرسون اني مور يو ار افكشن بيرسون رايت ناو اي دونت نيد تو بي ا تك بيرسون تو لاف ا جاجت بس اي نيد تو بي ا تك بيرسون تو نو هاو ذات جاجت وركس يب فور مي تو لايك ان اكشوال جاجت اور ا برودكت من ناحيه الكترونيات اي نو هاو ات وركس I know when I'm using Instagram stories, what I'm using up. I'm using up my antennas so I can see my location. I'm using up the cameras so I can see the way. It's using up the microphones so I can see the sound. It's using processing capabilities so I can see all this. And then it uses antennas again to upload the stuff. It takes a lot of effort and it's all done in a split of a second. There are still antennas in this thing? <laughs> yeah, of course. There's a ton of antennas. It'll be surprised. They have more antennas than they used to back in the day, right? Really? What do yeah. they look like? Well, they're the they're those lines that are on the side of the phone. Yo, look at that phone. That looks well, nice. That's yeah, nice. that's it's a nice looking phone. <laughs> it's a nice looking phone. <laughs> it's a nice looking phone that unfortunately is not coming out to Kuwait. So oh, it's, yeah, it's unfortunate. It's of unfortunate. course, of course. But um, yeah, loyalty brand is very important. Well, I will not to have yourself into a loyalty brand then i am loyal to a brand or two obviously i'm a human being i'm going to be biased about certain things i'm not a robot obviously في اشياء بحبها في اشياء ما احبها فاللي بحبه اكيد يمكن يعني في بيكون بلاسيبو افكت where you just think that this product is the greatest thing on earth بس انا احاول دائما يعني فيديوهاتي ان اعزل المشاعر والعواطف عن منتج مثلا and i bring my a game into just speak from here كلام عن common sense and I did that once with a Nokia phone نزل Nokia phone that was horrible it was a trash phone ولما جيت اسوي المراجعه قلت اشكره قلت له التليفون ما عليه كلمه نوكيا كم ما شريته لان عليه علامه نوكيا اشتريته ولما جربته it was horrible it was a bad phone فلا تشترون التليفون I said that in my review لا تشترون التليفون oh you love Nokia and I love Nokia but I can't tell people to I can't expect them to buy it واقول روح اشتروه بعدين يطلع تليفون So it is bala. But I'm going to follow Baruki Gadish to the telephone. So that to me is more important. Mm. Basically, yeah, being honest with, with. This happened also with another phone. Um, it was an LG phone. Can I check it? LG to get me a And then, you know, some logistics happened and got the telephone with Jamarik Mudda. And then I think it was that time where, where a lot of stuff in the get with Jamarik, the Kam Matar I think a lot of stuff got lost. And, So it was one of those phones that he, or one of those things that he can't with Jamal and he didn't know what was So I ended up, you know, buying the phone and using it. And I, I, I promised my followers I was going to review the phone. I, I was going to deliver. So when I got the phone, the phone was horrible. So I said the review, the phone was bad. The experience was not good. Blah blah blah. Just don't bother. Skip this phone. Wait for the next thing. And uh, about a month later, they called me LG in Kuwait, and they're like, "Dude, my ten telephone." خلناهم ما حد قاعد يشتري التليفون. واو. اي ام لايك كم واحد طلب؟ يقول 200. قلت له كم واحد بعت؟ يقول زيرو. واو. اي واز لايك از بيكوز اوف ماي فيديو؟ لهالدرجه يعني ايش داوي؟ تقول والله تشيذ ذات ولا البياعين قاعد يالفون يقولون منو هذا بعريكي اللي قاعد يخرب؟ اند فايس فيرسا هابنز اشتغلت مع اونر من قبل كم سنه اند اونر بالكويت الحين مو بالكويت بس اونر از لايك ا سب براند فروم هواوي ويتش از لايك يو نو ذا بيجست تشاينيز مانيفاكتشر رايت ناو. عطوني uh, تليفون جربته I love that phone so much I gave it a great review Wait when you say جرب تليفون what does جربته mean يعني I packed my SIM card حطيت كرتي داخل التليفون استعملته for no less than a week as my main phone الحين كاش شوف this is the only phone I carry because I'm I'm in the process of reviewing this phone ف I have to use it as my main phone as my main device فما شيل وياي تليفون ثاني في ناس وايد تشيل تليفونين انا اشيل تليفون واحد Your main phone. My main phone. Everything. داخل WhatsApp بي شغال عليه. Nice. صوري إيميلاتي. Nice. It's my main device, my SIM card, my only number موجود على التليفون. And I do that because اللي إذا أنا قلت بال بالتقييم مال التليفون إنه هذا خوش تليفون أشتري التليفون. لازم أنا أكون مجرب التليفون كأني أي واحد راح يشتري التليفون وحط بالا إنه يستعمل هالتليفون بدون أي تليفون ثاني. صح. فلو أنا كنت قاعد أجرب هالتليفون وشال تليفون ثاني على جنب. راح المعاينه ولا المراجعه هل راح تكون عادله؟ هل التجربه راح تكون عادله؟ مم. شنو راح اكون اسوي؟ انا موزع اللود على تليفونين ف The customer experience won't be authentic basically. Exactly. ف I always and that's why sometimes I have to suck it up and use very bad products for the sake of a good review. Damn. اي ف you have to suck it up and just use it علشان تقدر اصلا بعدين تقول you, have, you can brag the rights of saying yeah I used it. And can it be like ugh I don't like this product And three days down the line, you start liking yeah. it. That's why you do it for a week. Uh, 
It could be vice versa. Sometimes I love the product, at, love at first sight. I pop my SIM card two days later, I hate it. I hate it. I can't use the phone for a few times, from a few days, from a few days, from a few days. So I'm going to go to the phone and We were talking yesterday about you can't unknow what you know. So when you notice every single part of the customer experience in every single device, does that affect your يعني experience in general yeah yeah اكثر شخص ممكن يقول لك انه اي عقدنا من هالسالفه هي ام وهاب زوجتي يعني ام وهاب قبل تزوجها كانت تبدل تليفونها يمكن مره كل سنتين ثلاث سنين which normal people usually do صح الحين تبدل تليفونها مرتين ثلاث بالسنه هي حرام هي تحط تشالنج بينها وبين نفسها ان انا ما ابي اغير تليفون هذا التليفون راح يقعد سنه كامله حتى لو التليفون ما يعجبني حتى لو التليفون لا تاثر عليه كل تقول لي بهالكلمه لا تاثر علي مرات انا اجي قال لها تعالي شوفي تليفون جديد، لا تعاون اياه ما ابي اشوف تليفون جديد، you know what I mean؟ <تصفيق> فلان انا اجرب تليفونات وايد كثيره واجربها مو من باب انه هي عادي لا قاعد افصفص كل شيء بالتليفون، قاعد احاول اضغط التليفون تو ذا ليمت، درين ذا باتري، اوفر كلوك ذا بروسيسور سبيد، كيل ذا رام بريك ات بيسكلي بيسكلي تراين تو سي داز ذا فون لاست ويز يو، وبعدين في وايد تليفونات ما احط حتى كفر على التليفون لانه وان اي دروب ات ابي اعرف يتحمل الطيحات ولا لا شو الفائده شركه تعطيني تليفون واول شيء اسويه احط ستيكر واحد كفر بعدين اقول واقول اي والله التليفون في متانه عاليه وصلاب لا تحاتي لما يطيح التليفون وانت ايش دراك؟ اتس نوت بي اوثنتك يا اند ام اي ونت تو اسك يو مان ليتس تيك ا ستيب باك ام وات ميد يو ديسايد تو كوت يور جوب اند بي ا كونتنت كرييتر فول تايم It's a great question. أول شيء متابعيني for the longest time. يعني أنا عقب ما استقلت طلعت من زين. يمكن سنة ونص تميت متابعيني للحين كانوا عبالهم ما أنا اشتغل. I didn't announce it. I never said I quit my job and I do this full time. لأن حسيت إن حسيت إن في مفروض حدود تكون بيني وبين المتابعين. I don't want to be the type of person that just shares everything with their followers. I be I want to share what concerns them. And then I can I be I show my followers they ask me for what they want to know, and then I show it to them if I choose to. بدل لا تصير حياتي كلها broadcasted for everybody. And then I go, why Flan said to me this or why? Well, you broadcasted your life. You you can't hold people responsible. يعني a lot of people. شوف الحين أنا عبد الوهاب ولدي الله يحفظه بيكمل أربع سنين بعد كم شهر. I never showed his face on on any of my social media channels, and a lot of people like. طلع لنا صورة وهاب خلينا نشوف وهاب. And I feel like it's not fair that وهاب has to decide whether he wants to to be on, on you know to appear. Wow. ف هذه الأشياء كلها أخذها بعين الاعتبار إن how much do I want to share with my followers? How much do I want them to know about me? And I become very selective about it. لأن بالنهاية عندي حياتي الخاصة عندي زوجتي عندي أهلي عندي أمي عندي أبوي عندي ربعي. I have those Thursdays where I told you, you know, I see yeah. my friends, we do. So, <laughs> I have all this life. I see my <laughs> friends and we do. That's the nicest message, Allah. That made me laugh when I read that. Khamis yom muqaddas adatan. Kila hawl anna khali al khamis yikun the day where I do not do anything. So that's what when you say. What does that mean? Uh, it means uh, two Xboxes. You have full grown adults with kids and children. We nigga adn alab freaking Halo Three and we curse each other out. We hin habilik bad with Smash Brothers on Nintendo Switch. Sometimes we play that Mario Kart game. Fat. This is the stupid shit that we do, and and we end up ordering like you know some overpriced fried chicken for like 80 kd or something. You know, and overpriced fried chicken. <laughs> KFC is always the way to go, man. But you know, my friends there. Uh, Their palates are sophisticated, I guess. <laughs> but Khamis, I'm going to spend the day on the Friday. I love that I don't work on the Friday, but I do. And Friday, uh, or sorry, Thursday nights, those last three, four hours of the day, I'd like to spend it with my friends. Sometimes it works out, sometimes I don't. And then um, I need them to balance my sanity, basically. I need. لما انت تحط بمخك شغل 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 24 ساعه شغل 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 تبي تسوي فيديوهات تبي تسوي ما اعرف ايش وانسرينج يور كويشن وان اي ديسايد تو كويت ماي جوب اوبفيسلي صرت انه لازم اشتغل 24 ساعه دار مدار الساعه لازم اذا يوم ما نزلت فيديو اذا يوم ما نزلت بوست اذا يوم ما نزلت ستوري الناس بتقول وين احمد وين راح وين ما اعرف ايش ففي ضغط ان انت لازم تكون موجود وما بتكون موجود تميلح ابيك تكون موجود اند يور ريليفنت ابيك تكون موجود وقاعد تقدم محتوى مثري حق الناس 
يعني انا بالنهايه قاعد اقدم شغلات لها علاقه بالتقنيه ام نوت لايك ا فاشينيستا اور اور فود بلوجر اور ترافلر ولا اور ترافلر اور سمثينج فا اي هاف تو ميك ثينجز ذات ار ريليتد تو ماي فيلد اونلي ريسنتلي اللي قمت انزل شغلات ذات از نوت ريليتد تو ماي فيلد بيكوز اي لايك ات تو مثل شنو؟ ويل تووردز ذا اند اوف لاست يير مو يعني اخر سنه 2017 بلشت سلسله جديده على قناتي باليوتيوب اسمها بعيد عن التقنيه شنو يعني سلسلة جديدة بقناتي؟ It's a new series basically on my YouTube channel where I try as much as I can like once a month, once every in a while أنزل فيديو يكون ما له علاقة بالتقنية. Ooh. Yeah and I wanted to make it as a way basically like a series basically سلسلة. وأول فيديو نزلته كان على وقت اللي بينزل فيه فيلم Justice League. I'm a huge DC fan. Mm-hmm. I love DC. I'm a huge Batman fan and I love Batman. فأدري yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that half Batman, and I know a lot of people blew quit specifically how about Batman after the Christopher Nolan movies. Mm-hmm. And he teaches him who's your favorite Batman? Oh, Christian Bale. And I'm like, what, what about Michael Keaton? I'm like, huh? Who's Michael Keaton? You know, <laughs> they don't know the old Tim Burton yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah. They don't know the horrible Joel Schumacher movies. Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's his face? Val Kilmer, what a George Clooney. Yeah. Uh, they know Christian Bale and they know Ben Affleck now. I don't know if Adam West or any of the other older Batmans. So. بغيت اسوي فيديو اتكلم عن ذا موفي جاستس ليج قبل لا ينزل، ادري ان الناس تعرف شنو باتمان، ادري ان ذي نو وات سوبر مان از، اي نو ذي نو وات وندر وومن از بيكوز شي كيم اوت ان ذا باتمان فيرسز سوبر مان، بس دو ذي نو هو ذا فلاش از، دو ذي نو هو اكوا مان، سايبورغ، اند اول ذوز اذر كاركترز، فسويت فيديو اتكلم عن ذا جاستس ليج، وحطيت حق روحي كي بي اي، اذكر قلت حق امها قلت لها امها اذا الفيديو وصل 20000 لايك فيو، ايل جيف ماي سيلف ا بات اون ذا شولدر اند بي لايك ارت، ايل دو انذر ابسود. ذا واز ذا فيرست ون. ذا واز ذا فيرست ون. الحمد لله they hit like 50,000 or something so I was like okay people like this stuff nice خلينا نشوف شو نسوي الحين فيديو عن شنو and I looked at my other obsession I'm a sneakerhead I was just gonna say that yeah I love shoes and ever since I can remember I've loved shoes and in high school nice I, shoes though. thank you sexy sexy easy <laughs> um, I've always loved shoes and I wanted to to um, talk about shoes yeah and I remember in high school man I used to like you know get the Penny Hardaways and the Jordans I remember in 96 I got my pair of Jordan 11s for 37 KD in the Alami Riyadh in Bissalmiya which bro. is a lot back in the day right Yo. but um, I like shoes I've, I've loved shoes for the longest time and, I, and like you know those Barkley Air Maxes and you know the, the Shaquille Reeboks and I don't know I loved shoes for, for as long as I can remember I, I wanted to talk about shoes I wanted to bring up the fact that Nike is not doing as great as Adidas is doing right now because of one thing that's called Ultra Boost when nas hab alhin bil Ultra Boost what the hell is Ultra Boost so I wanted to bring the tech aspect khant kalam an taqniyat al Ultra Boost what are those pellets that are in the bottom of the shoe very smart so I made a video talking about that posted the video and كنا تجاوز 150000 واو اوفر لايك 15000 لايك يو توكينج لايك 7000 بيبل كومنتد اون ذا فيديو فحسيت او واو دو يو ثينك اتس ذا سيم بيبل هو فولو يو اور ذات جاست ات اوبفيسلي برات نيو تايب اوف فولوورز يا ات برات يا ات برات نيو تايب اوف فولوورز وذ نيو تايبس اوف ديماندز يو نو وات اي مين اند اي ثينك ذات يو انترد ذا سنيكرز ماركت وذ the experience that you yeah. had so you just like both exactly because i like your videos man like Thank i you. like the setup the studio you have it at home so studio yeah and bit. you do and we were talking before the show mm-hmm. and you told me how you're a one-man show yeah you do everything by yourself <laughs> and <laughs> you gave me the i uh, we were talking about how mcdonald's yeah how mcdonald's operates and yeah. that was the inspiration behind I bring this guy out about he's like my mentor in many ways <laughs> أه سألت مرة قلت له فيصل متى دريت انك انت الحين توسعت بما فيه الكفايه اللي تحتاج لازم تجيب انت موظفين؟ رد علي قال لي برو يو ويل نو ات وين ات هابنز. There is no certain wow. period of time that I can tell you. Some people do it in two years, some people do it in three years, some people take longer and they never do it. Stars, this dude sounds like a guru. He's amazing, yeah, he's amazing. Maybe you should <laughs> you have him on the show sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> And you just walk away and be like, come back again with another question. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he's, he, he knows his stuff, mashallah. He's the number one tech influencer in the Arab world with close to 2 million subscribers right now. Wow. Yeah, so he knows his stuff. He knows what he's talking about. So I when always, you say um, 2 million, okay, so let's talk money. Yeah. All right? So I remember I saw you for the first time in, in, in uh, Rukhtar Talk. Yeah. yeah. Ma, uh, Qasrawa. Qasrawa. That dude yeah. is cool, huh? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, guy. yeah. So, um, and I remember you asked him a question mm-hmm. about YouTube. 
yeah. and that CPM. It's, yeah, it's not paying no. um, YouTubers or no. content creators enough. Not so, at all. Can yeah. Sh- so until you have, what's the average watch of views? I mean, I see. In the month, I get about anything between 1.2 and 1.5 million views in the month. فلما تيجي تحسبها انت المفروض تحسب اذا انا اطلع اني ثينج المفروض فوق المليون مشاهده بشهر واحد اذا انت كنت بامريكا بيت الناس تطلع لك 600 دينار 700 دينار which is you talking about 2000 dollars بس احنا عندنا بالعالم العربي اذا وصلت 200 دولار ات كوكس نو واي يا يا ان هيوج ريزن لان الماركترز اللي المسوقين مو مؤمنين بمنصه يوتيوب از ا سيريس بلاتفورم انه هو يعلن عليها But the numbers. The numbers prove that otherwise. But now, you have the managers, the managers, the people that are signing those papers. They say, "Go to the first page." They sign a board. They television. They don't know what to do. On the basis of the 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 Snapchat, God forbid, you know, and and it's like. Wait a second. Let's <laughs> take it a step. <laughs> That really landed. <laughs> I hate Snapchat. <laughs> it's it's as simple as that. I hate Snapchat. Snapchat, I almost like cried. I was so happy. Wow. Yeah, I hate Snapchat. So what I on YouTube, so what I on Instagram, I was like, should I continue on Snapchat? And nice. on both collectively, 98% said no, 2% said yes. So I was so like, long. Was, so I was like, I, I remember I dropped this, the last Snapchat I sent. I was like, the 2%. Sorry. Uh, you'll be missed. You'll be missed. I was like, you'll be missed. You can find me on those links. Bye bye, Snapchat. And I deleted Snapchat. I don't use Snapchat. I don't follow anybody on Snapchat. I'm Snapchat list and I'm happy. I'm very happy. <laughs> I love one thing about Snapchat and it introduced Instagram stories. Ooh. Fa, yani, Do you think that me. did or Instagram already planned for it? Uh, I think that did. Mm. And Mark Zuckerberg can't even study Snapchat for that very reason, right? Yeah. And he just, you know, kicked them to the curb. Which But Instagram like. kicked Snapchat yeah. by allowing yeah. people to save those stories. Yeah, save those stories, go live, do all the stuff that Snapchat doesn't do. One of the things that I don't like about Snapchat is that there are no analytics. Mm. I don't know who's following me, Madre Min Wayne, they're following me. No way. Me. They had analytics towards the end. Like when I was about to quit Snapchat, all of a sudden, I'm getting analytics. I'm and like, do you get it if you're like Instagram, if you're a business account? Well, it doesn't matter. You have to be a business account on Instagram to get analytics. No, I mean like it's a Snapchat. With Snapchat, you get it. I, I was in the business account, business account, but I got analytics. I think it's, yeah, I mean, yeah, how much views I guess you get. So they just, you know, they assume they have an algorithm that probably figures yeah. out those people need analytics. And what they, kind of analytics? Any yeah, audience? So they them. give you basically number of views and. Uh, over like a week and then over a month and then they have i think y2d basically year to date and then they have mtd which is month to date and they, you you just see how many views you get and the gender pretty simple huh? pretty simple that doesn't help you in any ways and this is one of the reasons why i love youtube i use youtube analytics religiously well youtube analytics it's sad it's a but bro you just said that you get around 1.5 million and yeah. you don't make $200. Yeah. How do you survive as a YouTuber? To be full-time country? basically, yeah, I sound like a content creator. Yeah. If that was the hardest part, صح? when you decide to quit your job and you have, I think at that time, see, again, not a lot of people knew about this, but at the time where I quit my job, I was like, all right, what am I supposed to do? Dip into the savings, obviously. You get your final settlement and you're thinking, okay, this is what I want to do. Or uh, you start thinking. At that time, I wish if I cared for I want to do YouTube full time, but I don't want to worry about where the money comes in. So I better share it with one of the phones, and I can just direct all my energy into basically promoting whatever store I run. Oh. And um, I, Allah help me, Rabbi like Al Hamd. I got a good friend that owned his own store that called me up. Was like, man, you quit your job, get laid, you get tired of it. You touch this, you have YouTube, you go cafe, you sell YouTube, sell what you want. تعال عندي شوف الشغل شلون صاير dip your feet basically لا تحط فلوسك تعال اشتغل عندي وشوف شو يصير قلت له right. لما تقول اشتغل عندي بتعطيني معاش صح تقول يا مان اعطيك معاش تعال اشتغل عندي انا عندي الويب سايت ميت خلينا نحرك الويب سايت واو وانت وركت وذ هيم الله يذكره بخير السمي ابو وهاب 
Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Stay out with for like three months, and after three months, I realized that he didn't want me to be there, and I didn't want to be there. So it was gen- it was mutual breakup. I loved it. It was it was the best breakup I, like you can ever ask for. He calls me into his office the same time I wanted to go to his office, and both of us didn't want to dance. I was like, yeah, so I don't want to be here. He's like, yeah, I don't want you to be here. So I realized I didn't want to be in that business. Then I thought, and you make pen- peanuts basically in that business. If you open the telephone books, and then we are in the Kuwait in the end. لو تشوف مثلا اي واحدة من الشركات منزله بوست انستغرام ايفون الجديد وصل على ما استفهام او تعجب بعدين يقول لك فقط 249 دينار و900 فلس ربحيته يمكن 900 فلس واو والناس تقدر تحب شنو مكتوب نصابين حراميه جمبازيه نصابين حراميه جمبازيه نصابين بامريكا سعرها كثر ما ادري وين سعرها كثر فلاحظت ان انا اذا بستفيد علشان اطلع فلوس اذا بشتغل بهذه الشغله كم تليفون ببيع علشان اطلع اكزاكتلي كان يقولوا لي والله اللعبه كلها بالاكسسوارز ابسلز بالاكسسوارز كفرات ولا استكرات وما ادري شنو اند ذات وذن ات سيلف از ا هيوج ماركت حق الايفون اوه يا وتش كفراتي برو يا شارات كفراتي ذا كلك يا فكفراتي على سبيل المثال اتش اس تشيب ستور ما ادري شنو الشباب كلهم عسى الله يوفقهم ترى شباب كويتيين من عمرنا يعني عرفت كلهم ماشيين على رزقة الاكسسوريز مو قاعد يبيعون ايفونات they're not getting money from their iPhones انا اعرفهم مرات يبيعون ايفونات بخساره كل شغلهم من الاكسسوريز من الاكسسوارات اللي هم يبيعونها فعلشان انا اقدر ادش بالاكسسوريز I have to basically you know do something that I don't care for yep. ومثل ما قلت لك I never use even a case فحسيت يعني شال جنبه زي احمد ف I took three months off after that So now I'm about six months into no job, basically. I took three months off. Six then, months. تقريباً. Uh, me and my wife, we call it dark ages. Then I felt that, oh, okay, should I just go back? I'll go back. I can't work with Zayn. And Zayn has this policy. If you finish your job, you have one year you can come back and take your job. That's amazing. Yeah, which is kind of cool. ف, يعني, freaking cool. ف, you, you feel like there's a safety net, right? You go back to a job, a job, a job, a job. The same position and everything, but say it eat the adad more than any. And then to get hot to balik back to work to the truck in a year, no man, until then you're a new employee, you gotta wait your turn. But there's a catch to it, so I forgot at that time, and had to toss up my HR models and get them guy for of like coming back and stuff. Then I felt very desperate. And then I get a phone call from somebody, I like Kerbal Khair, Lahin, Gali, uh, Bohabi, Shlonik, Shakbarik, Machino, Mark Badri, Isa, Bunabil, Brister. I never knew who this guy was before he called me up. And he calls me in and he basically um, put up this contract that I couldn't say no to. Then I was very desperate. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. And I signed a contract to work for Eureka to handle a Eureka account on Instagram that started from zero. We can't even have basically. I just, you know, they wanted to make a digital magazine on, the, on Instagram where I just post stuff that is relevant. حق التك اندستري و ونزل كم فيديو عندي على اليوتيوب which I called mystery unboxing which is a new thing at that time which kind of, which got يعني هذا انا بصم لك اياه بالعشرة got ripped off in so many different ways by so many different people uh, الفكرة كانت ان انا اقول حق يوريكا يدزوا لي منتجات that I don't know what, what they are and they're wrapped in a gift uh, nice. with a bow that has the يوريكا branding so they can get some product placement and exposure and stuff like that and I, I, I unbox it And I just talk about it. I don't review it. I'm just unboxing it. I'm just explaining what this is. They went crazy with the stuff that they sent me. They sent me like coffee makers and I don't know what. And how are the response of the sales to these kind of videos? Well, it is something that we were not looking into in the sales. That was a contract where they wanted exposure. In the exposure, they had a KPI, I think, for one year, about 10,000 followers. And I thought, I'm going to get 10,000 followers. On Instagram in one year, mm-hmm. I gave them twenty-four thousand. For those who don't know what a KPI is, uh, KPI is basically key the, performance indicator. Yeah, it's the key performance indicator, which basically it head in the nebi it wasal hag hal hal and that indicator يحدد لك إذا أنت قاعد تنجز ولا أنت مو قاعد nice. تنجز. فهم كانوا حاطين لي عشرة آلاف as an indicator. يبلهم أربعة وعشرين آلاف. They were very happy. boom. Yeah, they were very happy and. Um, شلون يبت لهم 24000 جينوينتي مان اوثنتيسيتي كنت اوثنتيك وذ ذا كونتنت ذات اي كريتد كل اللي سويته كنت صادق فيه و 
اذا شيء كان زين كنت اقول انه زين اذا شيء كان مو زين كنت اقول انه مو زين <تصفيق> عرفت ف that worked out and it grew go for it gracias thanks everybody yeah. one question bro yeah what is your business model mm. oh my business model okay <sighs> My business model it was linked a huge a huge part of it is linked to رساله اللي انا كتبتها بالماجستير علشان كنت ابي افهم شلون اقدر اطلع فلوس بدون لا ابيع ذمتي ما ابي انا شركه سامسونج تعطيني فلوس عشان اقول ان تليفونات سامسونج زينه ما ابي اتش تي سي تعطيني فلوس عشان اقول اتش تي سي تليفوناتهم زينه ما ما بغيت هالشيء اند ات واز فيري ايزي اي وحده من هالشركات مستعده تدفع لي علشان اقول ان تليفونها وايد زين ايش كثر مستعد لي <تصفيق> It depends on the market. It depends on on the if they can local office or the RHQ. But you're looking at, يعني بيت النازل أي anything between خمسين مية دينار ل ألفين دينار. To be to an ambassador. No, not an ambassador. Ambassador, they're going to pay you a lot more. But then, until until you're an ambassador, you lose you lose working with any other company. Yeah. But being more an ambassador, being like an influencer, خلينا نقول متفوله. which defeats the purpose of you being an influencer has that انت ما تصير انفلونسر خلاص انت تصير ذمتك شارين هالناس شركات سوري ف بس مو الانفلونسر ذمته شارين هالفيورز نو المفروض الانفلونسر ذمته شاريها نفسه لان this is the only way you can basically become better at what you do انا الفيوز الفيورز ما قالوا لي سوي فيديو عن باتمان اند جاستس ليج ما قالوا لي سوي فيديو عن اديداس صح ما كنت تدري شنو ردة فعلهم ما كنت تدري it was a risk yeah true I still till this very minute man ما صدق I got away with it <تصفيق> يعني I got away with it you know لأن right now أحس إن أنا وصلت لمرحلة إن maybe if I post certain things I can get away with it because because خلاص people are invested in in the character or the brand which is something very important أنا أحس بذاك ذاك الوقت أنا كنت قاعد أبلش أفهم هذا الموضوع إن الناس وايد ما تدري إن influencer is a brand you're a brand Mm-hmm. And for you to become a brand, you have to link certain things to yourself. I have a video on YouTube, and I'm going to post 300 videos on YouTube. It's a personal brand. It's a Mo- best personal brand, dude. If you go to my YouTube channel, which is the video that I'm going to you will find one thing consistent in every single one of my videos. I never appear on my videos without wearing a polo shirt. I have to wear a polo The first five videos, I was wearing a polo. When I saw the saddest video, I was going to wear a polo shirt, I was wearing a polo <laughs> He's into cars too. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's another. We need aspect another that podcast, man, with this dude. <laughs> that, that's another thing that I dipped into recently, which is kind of cool. But I'm like, that you need to be that. That's the key thing. And this is why I'm not going to teach anything. I'm like, Ahmed, Sean, and Jahab YouTube. How can I reach somewhere in YouTube? How did you do it, basically? And my answer is consistency. You have to be consistent. ما اقدر انزل يوم فيديو وانا باكر مالي خلق. دو يو تنزل يعني تنزل فيديو كل يوم؟ انا وصلت حق مرحله اني انزل كل يوم فور ميبي 9 مونث. افري سنجل داي اي ميك ا فيديو اند ذا كريزي بارت از ان اي دينت رن اوت اوف كونتنت. اي كان ميك كونتنت. وات ستارت مي فروم ميكينج فيديوز افري سنجل داي اي برنت اب. ستريس يا مان. يا اي جت ستريس اب. بس يو سي ذات سمثينج ذات drives me insane when content creators because I have a product confident on camera I help people build their confidence in front of the camera yeah. for them to create content mm-hmm. so which by the way I never thought it was a thing until I saw what you did what do you mean? like who would think yeah let me help people become confident in front of a camera oh that's a thing you know what I mean <laughs> I was like oh wow that's a thing I never knew it was a thing until like you know I basically found out about you I never knew it was a thing I don't yeah. think it is a thing <laughs> that's the thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> Then, then uh, basically, I never was good in front of a camera. Bro, you told me the first time you put two GoPros, you spoke for 11 minutes. As yeah. a confident coach, you're amazing. But, <laughs> but you didn't ask me why I was able to speak in front of the camera. Mm. Couldn't see yourself? The GoPro was right here. That has no screen. Yeah, you that flips see yourself. Out. Yeah. I look at a dot. Mm. And that red dot was mesmerizing. And I completely forgot that there was a camera right What there. What does that mean? It was, I was so mesmerized by that red dot. 
It's like you Seriously. saw the light. Khalas, this hey, is your yani, home. The red dot is so small. By the time that video was done, the red dot was like kashaf boy. Mekitha mana kinti mrakiz with red dot. Then I was, I was self-aware that there's a camera pointed at my face. Found the last day. بعدين استوعبت يعني يعطيكم الصحة والعافية وياكم أحمد بوريك هذا طلعت تشير لأني أنا كنت اخترع من الكاميرا. And then I started doing it on purpose because it became my catch thing, right? Everybody has to have a catch yep. thing. What and do you call your followers? What do I call my followers? Yeah, and you know on YouTube some people have a name. If I'm not going to get that catchphrase in the beginning, they say, yeah. "Hey, مثلا." متابعيني. I. متابعيني ولا you say your name? Do you have like an intro? My intro is يعطيكم الصحة والعافية معكم أحمد بوريك and then I get into it. Nice. And then at the end I sign off. سامحوني على طالق صور سلامتكم وتعيشون أحمد وعريكي ثم الله الكريم. Nice. Which is like you know another sign off thing. But in between, يعني هذه شغلة أنا قلتها في إنستغرام ستوري من قبل كم يوم. One of my resolutions, New Year resolutions, حق 2019, أن أبي مراجعاتي تكون واقعية أكثر. Which means إن I cannot oversell a product even if I like it. And it also means I cannot undercut a product even if I hate it. أبي تصير واقعية أكثر. I'm not gonna say video for. This isn't liking a product, okay? <sighs> liking a product, okay, but overselling it because you like it is not. Overselling it. Yes. يعني الحين أنا أحب. But what's the difference between overselling and giving your opinion passionately? The well, if I give my opinion passionately, then I am overselling. Overselling. So it, they go together, obviously. وانت بال 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 المبدا من وراء الفيديو اللي انت بتسويه بالمراجعه مثلا ولا بالتقييم which is a great question لما سالتني شنو يعني مراجعه؟ and not a lot of people ask that question لان صارت شغله الحين متداوله بين الناس تدش يوتيوب اليوم تكتب مراجعه ايفون يطلع لك 60000 فيديو and you're like what it's different things مم. يعني واحد من ربعي صلاح حامد الله يذكره بالخير وهو يكتب معاينه 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 بالانجليزي تعني impressions صح which can also mean انطباعات mm-hmm. هل معناتها هي مراجعة mm-hmm. هل معناتها it's a review what, what does it mean mm-hmm. فلطالما أنا قيمت منتج من, من وجهة نظري وأنا صرت صادق مع ربي قبل لا أكون صادق مع الناس وصرت صادق مع نفسي راح تلقى أن الناس راح تتابعك ومو كافي أن تتابعك لأن يوتيوب تقدر تتابعني بدون أن لي سبسكرايب شنو لازم أنا أسوي عشان أقنعك you click that button Subscribe and come back and watch videos again. Shlon. <laughs> <That's laughs> no, seriously, I'm serious. Like, uh, what are some of our YouTube secrets that you can share? Like, what are, let's say three. What are three YouTube secrets? One of them I want to know about subscribing. Okay. Like, how can you make people subscribe without asking them to subscribe? And maybe two other hey, secrets. Shuf. Because uh, this dude has been to YouTube, guys. <laughs> he said, I, I've been to YouTube. And I was like, what? Is YouTube a guy? What are you saying? Yeah. Is that like. <laughs> I met with YouTube. I, I met with YouTube twice. YouTube. Yeah, I met with YouTube twice. I will never shift YouTube uh, again. Sam, I'm not kidding. Just YouTube. La, kinte bil bil head office mal YouTube in London. Okay. And I met with YouTube executives, mm-hmm. and we talked about basically my career in YouTube and and the stuff that I do on YouTube. O kano ama wide interested fil mawdoo. Then I believe it or not, YouTube bil Kuwait. I kind of moved the el ibra shway in 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 the tech field. يعني انت لما تيجي تتكلم Kuwaiti, YouTube, يبالك سوار شعيب مثلا. بس سوار شعيب like any other YouTuber, like me, demographics, أول شيء راح يكون السعودية. 30 مليون نسمة يا رجل. وأنت؟ أنا نمبر 1 سعودية، نمبر 2 الكويت، الحمد لله. Which mm. took a lot of effort for me to get Kuwait number 2، لأن أول ما بلشت Kuwait was number 7. Who, who were number 2 and 3؟ Number 2 كانت مصر، number 3 كانت العراق. Well, I mean, that's obvious demographic, it's just geography, yeah. so. It's just there are more people there. Yeah. The only way I could to make YouTube Kuwait is number two, I gave you an example on Instagram. Then Instagram overall, if you talk to Facebook, I've, I've met with Facebook as well. You go like Instagram, it's another Kuwait dude, is, huh? is, is, it's another dude, yeah. <laughs> Facebook said that Kuwait is number one in terms of usage on Instagram. Saudi is number one. Number one, you know, in the Khalid. In Khalid, yeah. I heard about yeah. the world, this region of the world. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. وبالكويت this is this is part of the business model that you're asking about before. Um, علشان انا اقدر اسوي اللي انا ابي ومرتاح على يوتيوب لازم اطلع مكان ثاني ادخل منه فلوس. وريسنتلي كنت اعتمد على مدخول لي بانستغرام بشغلات لها علاقه بالمجال مالي وما لها علاقه بالمجال مالي. One of the revenue streams can be like Adidas for example, right? اذا Adidas دفعت لي فلوس اليوم and I talk about a Samsung phone will it affect my opinion? No. Nope. No. If I say the Samsung phone is great, if I say this iPhone sucks, where did that affect the flus? Doesn't make a difference. But how? But how do you place their product if they pay you money? 
In a video? That's the thing. Mm. With Adidas, for example, what I have, the deal that I have with them, and the highlight on my Instagram account, where I just basically snap a photo of the shoe that I'm wearing during that day. And it's an amazing deal just because I That's made that genius, video. though. Yeah. Oh, well, the Mabda Minna Khan and I saw a video on that YouTube when I told you on, on the, about the Juati and Ultra Boost, Technite Ultra Boost. Mm-hmm. Adidas saw that video, they hit me up. They're like, yeah, let's. So, what are you? Like, are you a, a model? What the hell are you doing? You know what I mean? <laughs> But after after maybe a few months of talking about what it is that I do, what are you? I love yeah, that question. Yeah, hey, like, how did you get this many views? And the next video, the next day was about a phone, and then the day before that was about a laptop. Fajat kalam and shoes, and it's yeah. confusing, right? Mm-hmm. Fa I never talked about shoes again on YouTube. I never talked about shoes again on YouTube. I wanted to divert the attention of those followers onto Instagram, where I talk about shoes on Instagram maybe every other day. Have you thought of starting a, a sneakers uh, channel? Um, it's in the maybe I'm going it's in the works because like right now I'm in negotiation with Farfetch, which mm-hmm. is a, a huge you know online retailer, right? And they want me to work with them on Adidas only, and sneakers specifically. That what we want to bring is not something that is on an nafsi ma shifta baalim al Arabi yisir, where you can talk about in depth about the sneaker culture and what the sneaker is and the history behind the sneaker and all this stuff. Bil-Arabi. I've never seen that. I right? love that idea. Bro. Yeah. So we're, we've been working on basically um, but yeah, I had to come up with 12 ideas for a whole year on, on how we can make content for that. That's and simple. Like I, one yeah. video a month? One, yeah, basically one video a month. But the idea but bro, is... Bro, you got credibility. Yeah, and you, you, you got the Jordans. You have the knowledge. Yeah, you're not just wearing. You're not just putting on those shoes. You're not just a content creator, too. Exactly. We we want that knowledge. We want that 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 inform, informative knowledge. And they the video, Alashan and Nasat Surat Arif. And this is not just a shoe. There's there's, it's it's more than just. You're a giving shoe. it a story, basically. Basically, for for me to plan out how to do those videos and those ideas takes a long time, right? Mm-hmm. It took me about maybe a few months. Finally, finally, tell what. كان عندي سفرة قبل فرنسا رحت المغرب for Formula E race don't even ask I saw the I saw the highlights man <laughs> man that was that was nuts that was crazy Nissan they called me up like تبي تروح تشوف سباق I'm like yeah like like all these companies you called know, me up it's like Nissan called me up yeah. like Samsung <laughs> called me up like Facebook like YouTube I'm like I want somebody to call me up man <laughs> for for you to be able to do that you just need to be consistent. You just need to be consistent. Tell Allah, man, that's that's a I think the best advice anyone can ever get when it comes to not just even be any a content creator, any goal you want to achieve in life, consistency is consistency very is key. Man. My YouTube, the day that Yani on a get YouTube after a I was renovating. I changed the setup in the office that I'm sitting you know, my wife she just gave birth to my second son. وكانت حملتها وايد صعبة على آخر شيء ف going in and out of the hospital and stuff like that فما كان عندي وقت إن أنا أنزل فيديوهات فقطعت يوتيوب for three weeks and that was the longest time off I took وعلى حظي اليوم اللي قطعت فيه اليوتيوب كان ينزل لي new feature اسمه يوتيوب stories yeah. which kind of works like snapchat which kind of yeah. use like instagram stories كان yeah. حرقة I can't make youtube videos but I can make youtube stories and I got crazy views I'm talking Wow! Over freaking stories, man, and I'm like, wow! There's a business model right there. There's a new revenue stream. There is new stuff that you can do there. Get to help them in my proposals. Get to help them in my rate card. It's like that. I'm a safari event. What about a shake? By the way, to be honest, like YouTube stories, it's a thing. I can get you this many followers or this many views or this many like you know, and حبيت حالي في during those three weeks where I figured it out. By the time when I went back to YouTube, I was like, all right, I didn't disappear. I was just using a different method of it. And this is a very important aspect, like any content creator, not just influencer, but like any content creator. If you want to use and you utilize all your platforms, you're going to fail. You're going to fail miserably. And you cannot recycle the same material. The first thing you have to do is to change the platform that you want to do. It's your baby, right? I chose YouTube. This is the main platform, this is the main platform. And there's Instagram, I kind of like. في Facebook, في Twitter, في Snapchat, في a ton of other منصات. What you need to do and that you need to use the other ones as a supportive platform for your main platform. Then if you recycle the material that you put out out of all those platforms, people will be fed up with following you on one platform. 
يقول ليش انا اتابعك على يوتيوب وسناب شات وانستغرام؟ قاعد تنزل نفس الشيء كل مكان. You're recycling the material, which is a big no-no. A lot of people do it and they can't figure out why they're not growing. Well, dude, you're not growing, then I got to them اللي يشوفونه هني وهني بمكان واحد. ليش why should I make the effort to follow you anywhere else if you recycle the same material? Mm. تقدر تحط snippets, تقدر تحط teasers, but if you recycle the exact same material, يعني الناس وايد يشوفهم ياخذ فيديو يوتيوب طول 10 دقائق يقطعه دقيقه 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 وينزل على انستغرام. What are you doing? It doesn't work that way. الناس تصير اوكي انا بتابعك على انستغرام I will not yeah. follow you on YouTube. You see that's the thing I heard something maybe two weeks ago about something called you see the four languages of love ولا there is a book called the four languages of love ولا شيء the five languages of love and a guy was talking about the five languages of sales. Okay. So some people prefer being sold to through a TV, mm-hmm. through Instagram, through YouTube. Yeah. Through different platforms. صح. فانت انا what I noticed from your Instagram account and YouTube so you cr- Instagram is a bit more not personal. Personal. Yeah. But again, you said that you don't really share much of your life with Instagram. But again, Instagram is a bit more personal from uh, from YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. And the way the way it worked out for me. Now, now, why did this? Marat, I, I mean, let's say, for example, I posted um, a, a picture of my sneaker. Let's say, for example. Oh, that's that's a huge. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh man. The first time I posted a picture of Jooty, I wrote "Askum Allah." Hashtag Askum Allah. دش لي واحد بالخاص كفرني شلون تكتب كلمه الله تحت الجوتي انا ام لايك دود انت شلون شفتها اصلا ان هي ردت عليه عرفت فانا انا يعني ما كنت الحين اكتب عسكم الله لان اتس ام نوت بينج ديس ريسبكتفول اف اي بوت ا بيكتشر اوف ا سنيكر اون ماي انستغرام اكاونت بس ناس وايد ما تفهم تقول احنا متابعينك عشان تقني ولا عشان جواتي اقول له انت متابعني عشان التقنيه بيوتيوب هني هذا حسابي الخاص انا قاعد احط صور جوتي احط صور باتمان احط صورة سياره احط صورة اي شيء عجبني غير التقنيه اذا حطيت صورة تليفون اون انستغرام اتس بيكوز اي لايك ات اذا حطيت صورة تليفون اون انستغرام اوفر ثينك يور كونتنت مور ذا مور يو هاف فولوورز اوبفيسلي يعني ا تو ا سيرتن اكستنت اي تراي تو نوت اوفر ثينك از ماتش از ستي ترو تو ماي سيلف يعني ما ابي انزل شيء يكون ما له علاقه فيني جست بيكوز اي هاف مور فولوورز يعني وايد شركات تتواصل معي تقول لي احمد نزل لنا بوست عندك اقول له انت شنو شغلك يقول لي كذي اقول له عليه ما له شغل دز ميك سنس ليش انزل عندي؟ saying no. Of course you have to say no. For, you know what's the secret of getting stuff done? Saying no. Saying no a lot. مرة أنا شفت حلقة كيسي نايستات. And he's talking about the, the magic word of no. And sometimes you, get, you have to say no to get stuff done. أنا خذيت المبدأ بطريقة مختلفة. قمت أقول no not to get stuff done. To stay real to myself. لأن إذا الشركة تواصلت معي ما لي علاقة فيها نهائيا من الأشياء اللي أنا أسويها. وقلت لها يس راح اطشر المتابعين like an organic vegan exactly exactly <laughs> you know what i mean yeah we're يعني... just talking kfc and fried chicken hey. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know then seriously that's yeah. not part of my stupid shit day man يعني انا مره كلمتني الله يلعن كيف بليز they sold um, like some music equipment it was remotely related to technology I don't make music anymore. I'm not. But he loves deal. music, though. Well, I love music, and then <laughs> they wanted me to make a video about it, and I was like, "Yeah, it's not related to the content that I make." Did you know what I did? I mean, I told them, "But this is not your personality. Your personality is shaky. We're going to tell you." Here, I was told that there is a point where people don't understand that the reason you succeed in certain stuff is because you are organic about it, and you're basically. authentic mm. عشان كذي الناس حبتك عشان كذي الناس تابعتك عشان كذي الناس تبي تشوف اكثر منك فاذا انت اعطيتهم كل شيء مره واحده يو لوز اذا انت اعطيتهم يعني اشياء لك علاقه فيها ما لك علاقه فيها يو لوز بس اذا اعطيتهم الاشياء اللي انت تحبها حتى لو كانت بالقطاره يو كيب ذم اون ذير توز يو كيب ذم انترستد برو عرفت ف برو ذاتس ذاتس اي جيس ذات واز ذا كي فور 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 مي And uh, it worked out in the way it did. But knowing your platform, knowing your audience, that's very important. We should know your audience want. Because this is the thing that you think about in the long run. It either determines how you create your content or you let your audience define you on how to create your content. And the day that you let your audience basically define who you are and the way you create your content, you sold out. On that note, man. Yeah. Oh my God. Bro. Habibi. I loved it. this episode man 
I'm just, we're just starting this YouTube channel for Derdish and I learned so much from you today, man. Absolutely, Allah, man. man. You're amazing. Thank you. Inshallah, you'll hit the million and I'll see that. Hopefully, man. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. No, honestly, I, I can see you're a G-Shock fan too, but I work with G-Shock. Of course you do. <laughs> work with G-Shock. <laughs> it's funny. They, they, I, you'll like this story. One last story, man. You'll like this story. When I when I started working with G-Shock, the only thing they asked me to do is, let me tell the telephone. Stamily the key sir. <laughs> nice. So you can nice. see the G-Shock. See the G -Shock and yeah. I've been a G-Shock guy since I can remember. So that was genuine too. I love G-Shocks too, but yeah. bro, yeah. for the Saeed. Habibi. Thank, Thank you, you so for much for me. coming to the Dirty Show. Liam, any one can use his phone to make content, but you have a responsibility to your God and yourself. And let's say the group that group that you belong to and you can do something to be helpful the Arabic content in the Arabic content let it be a wide and strong don't do something just to do something let it be a benefit and a place in the world so that you can remember it hopefully it's good and that's it bro thank you so much for coming absolutely man anytime all the best thank you one last question before you leave I had to ask you this question what does Lorks mean and sound for oh slorks that's a that's a great question okay so in uh, just so we can wrap it up I yeah in 2005 or 2006 and the nokia it's zero code it's zero code it's nokia 8800 okay and i used to go to kuwait for about a year i paid a lot of money to bring it into kuwait so one of my friends said to me oh this nokia uh, sloroco so i said sloroco it's not for me sloroco في يوم من الأيام كنا قاعدين نلعب هيلو، and I think I sniped him between the eyes، and he's like man fuck slorks، <laughs> and the rest is history. <laughs> بعدين قلت استعمل الاسم حق كل شيء بديش إنستغرام تويتر قلت استعمله أخذ الاسم ما يكون مستعمل. I never thought that I was gonna become a YouTuber one day. So when I used slorks it was slorks. It's an amazing name. Just yeah, it just stuck to it. It's really easy to remember, and yeah. on that note, bro, it is a wrap. Thank you, Habibi. Take care, guys, and we'll catch you guys soon. Thank you. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Cause baby, I feel real good, and I wish I would. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Everybody watch out, watch out now I'm ready for a good time, and I came to groove The whole band's here and we came to move Got a fresh haircut and two new shoes We're here all night like we got nothing to lose I'm coming out the jacket cause we're turning up the heat I wanna see you clapping when you get up out your seat It's time to make it happen when we hit these streets I'm coming in hot and I can't be beat Watch out now Baby, watch out now Watch out I'm on the move, I'm going up I'm a man on a mission with no misses And I'm looking for love Oh, I'm just looking for love It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good Watch out now Cause baby, I feel real good And I wish I would Watch out now It's gotta be against the law this damn good, baby. Watch out now. Everybody watch out. Last call for the monster hall. And don't forget to tip. The sun went down, but we still relate. The band's still going, playing all ahead. I guess I'm now too legit to quit. I'm coming out the jacket, cause we're turning up the heat. I wanna see you clapping when you get up out your seat. It's time to make it happen when we hit these streets. I'm coming in hot and I can't be beat. Watch out now. Watch out. Watch out. Baby, I feel real good, and I wish I would. It's gotta be against the law. Look, this damn good, baby. Everybody, watch out now. 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 Ever
Everybody watch out. Watch out now.